Well, now is a good time as any to start this moving vlog because today I got the exchange done. Uh, yeah, it's still kind of sinking in. Uh, I've tried to like schedule everything that needs to be shipped and delivered and uh, just yeah first night I'm not gonna have a mattress so that should be interesting but yeah it's it's happening this is it's on so plot twist uh, there was no exchange today because apparently turns out I'm part of a chain this place advertises chain free which means the seller isn't looking to buy anything that you know this purchase depends on and so we're not waiting for anyone else to buy or sell anything for this to go through and that turns out not to be the case because now we couldn't do the exchange today because uh, the seller had a place that she wants to buy and those solicitors for that place were not ready today which I don't even see how it matters because surely she needs the money from this purchase first to get to the new place I, I really don't get it and I'm very <sighs> I'm so angry that this didn't go through so I'm going out to eat with my friends which kind of was the plan anyway but whatever uh, I, I just can't believe this it's supposed to happen tomorrow so that I can move in the day after tomorrow which is when everything in terms of you know bed mattress my belongings washing machine installation has been booked for so it all I can say is it better uh, I kind of can't believe this is happening to be honest. I feel like I didn't do a good enough job to explain this. I'm gonna explain this for people who are not from England who don't understand this. The way that it works in England is that when you buy property it is not binding until the exchange. That's when you're locked into the purchase agreement and between the exchange and completion, completion being when you can move in, it can be a very short span and often both happen at the same time of the whole process. Uh, sometimes there can be a bit of a gap between but in this case, probably won't be. And uh, yeah, so you need the exchange in order for the completion to happen, completion when you move in, right? And I'm trying to understand why some other exchange needs to happen at the same time as this one. There's probably some mortgage transfer, something, something that I don't understand that has been kept from me this entire time. The place was advertised as chain free. And here we are right so i've been waiting all day to get the exchange done today so that i can move in tomorrow and so far nothing and then there's two and a half hours left of my solicitors conveyancers working day so that's that's the time we have left yeah i asked my solicitors and they said that they were just waiting for what's left in this now chain uh, to get back to them, to wrap everything up. I called the property agent like two hours ago and he's very confident this is gonna happen today. But now there's only two and a half hours left. So I am not confident at all. Uh, I hate this, 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 I am not having a good day. Yeah, just thought I'd give you an update. I just got the message, it's been exchanged. There's two hours left, two hours, and we have exchanged. The property is mine, <laughs> and I'm gonna have a nap. Right, so it's the next day now, it's Friday, and we have completed, completed me, meaning that I now own the place, and technically I should be able to move in now. However, there was a little plot twist yesterday, and I knew there was something. I was asked if I could kindly move in Saturday and th Friday, even though Friday, today, the place is mine officially, which is awesome. And the reason is that the seller has had some medical issues, should be in hospital. And yeah, if I just move in Saturday instead, that would just make everything work out. So I was like, cool, that's no problem because I'd already booked my movers for Saturday anyway, so might as well. Um, it's really no issue, except I had one delivery, my bed uh, scheduled on Friday, today. And the property agent, who was like, yeah, yeah, no worries. You can have that rescheduled to our office instead. Then I would just drive it over to the flat the next day. And then he calls me today and is like, um, this is too big. And I'm like, yes, it's a bed. 
And he says he can't fit in his car to drive it to my place. And uh, so uh, now what? Because I can't. I have no car. No way of bringing it anywhere. I'm f so he thinks I should use my movers for that. But like my movers are going to come with a fully packed van. They're not going to go and pick up some bed after the fact. Uh, so, you know, so that's annoying because I did that to be nice. And now I'm incurring more delivery costs. So. But yeah, tomorrow I'm moving in with all my things and everything. So we'll, we'll catch up then, I guess. Guys, I have moved. It is official. I am in, I am here. <laughs> Exhausted. So I am the worst vlogger ever, but let me tell you what's happened today and why I haven't even had time to pick up the camera because I woke up at eight in the morning, uh, just had to rush down to my old flat to be ready for the movers who were already there. <laughs> Meanwhile, I was doing that. My friend's husband, who was super, super kind and helpful, agreed to go and pick up my furniture, including the bed at the property agent, while I was dealing with the movers and telling them what we're taking and what we're not taking. And it was clear from the beginning that they were not going to be able to fit everything in one drive. So, <laughs> oh dear. So that was a bit of a like, okay, I just have to make sure at least the most important things are taken then we figure out what was left what ended up being left was the outdoor plants not all of them most important ones we could take and they were like we've taken twice as long as we were supposed to already we're not even moved yet so we gotta charge you more but we can make another ride so they figured that they could come back as soon as they dropped off my things here and <laughs> and go and pick up the remaining things outside it doesn't stop there because when my friend was going to the property agent to pick up the bed that was delivered, they weren't there. It was closed because there aren't that many people at work like during the weekend. But I managed to call them just in time for when my friend's husband had dropped off uh, the other furniture, the IKEA furniture here and went back to check another time and they were in and you could pick up the bed, drop it off here. So bed's in a box here somewhere. And yeah, so somehow everything arrived and my friend who lives in the area, who I used to live with, that friend, my knitting friend, um, she was here to get the washing machine installed here when they were still moving out of here she was here for getting the keys she got the keys from the property agent the day before and she was here to let you know people in and drop off things and deliveries throughout the day just amazing help and we have started assembling furniture she just had to leave for other things happening for her today so let's go have a look at what we've done and here is my new bedroom and this is what we have assembled it is not done yet but we're getting there and i got i got a new rug I thought we'd just get this rug while we assemble because it's, it's good to have a rug for those things. So now I'm going to put it in the drawer so I at least can pack away some of my clothes. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> oh my god, what a day. Morning. I have slept on the sofa. We may have had a... <laughs> I just crashed, honestly. I just... Uh, my whole body is hurting, not because I was lifting stuff yesterday, because I had mirrors for that, thank goodness, I would not have been able to do that myself, uh, but I uh, started immediately putting up furniture, and I didn't stop, I just couldn't stop, and uh, I will show you what I did, but yeah, um, I, I, I just broke, I my back, my legs, I don't want to get up, I do not, but one must complete, com complete, complete, continue, the assembly. Also, I gotta get out of this mess. Let me show you. I'm just surrounded by things here. I don't. I. Yeah. I'm, tra I'm trapped. I can get out here. This is the road. <laughs> yeah. I've got so much work to do. This is gonna take weeks. Hi. So, the whole day has passed, and, um, well, this is what I have achieved bed frame. <laughs> Well, not just bed frame, also wardrobe uh, without doors because I'm having uh, big problems getting the bottom track to work properly. So I might need help with that tomorrow. But yeah, we have the bed frame and it's not too bad. It's just that I can't for the life of me understand the remaining instructions. 
Because it just says to put these plates like right down on the floor. Like no no attaching or anything. I mean, I just it doesn't make much sense to me. And I'm also completely indecisive about whether to pull the rug further out so we have a bit more rug here because it's kind of going to waste under the bed but also maybe it should be under the bed to be like even or should I pull it all the way the other way so that I have some rug when I step out of the bed on the other side I don't know to pull out to leave I, I will probably do I've decided before I put up the video, but that's where I'm at. Also, I put up my new Moomin calendar. I get a new one every year, so that's been very nice. And I'm trying to put my yarn stash back in, in no particular order, just to have something in there. And also, <laughs> it's like 15 degrees in here because I haven't figured out how the heating works yet. And I don't know if you can hear that sound, but I don't know how to explain this, but it's like the the fridge makes a sound that sounds like it's using mouthwash. Do you know what I mean? Do you hear that? Do you hear that? It's weird, right? I can't be right. Well, I think this is about as much tidying as I will do today before I go to bed. Uh, you probably can't tell the difference, but I definitely created a bit of a a working nook over there. Um, I'm still cleaning around, but yeah. I feel like I'm making it dirty every time I do something here. Um, I'm just figuring out how I want the setup. Do I want to be facing that way? Do I want to be facing that way in that corner? Or like just straight in the front? Because i got to decide that before I put in all the plugs and decide where the desktop computer goes. I'm just pointing with the camera. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I like that the plants are there because they get some natural light. Uh, this is not natural light. This is just this awful street lamp that makes me feel like it's full moon every night but like not in a good way here's my my little bed for now and uh tomorrow i'll get my my mattress and hopefully i'll finish the bed the proper bed <laughs> and yeah should be the last sofa night which isn't too bad it's a, it's a pretty decent sofa to sleep on hello everyone it is my birthday today and i've lived it for two days if we count the day that i moved in and <sighs> I have internet, I've got broadband, it's been installed. Uh, a guy came over from the company I chose today and helped install everything. And as a gift, as a thank you, I gave him my welcome sign outside because it wasn't really my taste, but he thought his wife would love it. Not only that, I decided it's well over time that I wash my clothes today. Finally have a washing machine after all, so let's load this one up because I'm very excited about this one. So much better than what my stingy former flat, uh, landlords got me. Um, and it wasn't running. No power, nothing. I don't know what happened because I had it installed on Saturday right before I moved in. My friend was here to make sure I got in, all of this stuff, and he must have been like super pissed that the people moving out weren't done yet because he uh, not only left like the laminate floor like rolled up in front of it, but also it it wasn't plugged in. Uh, the plumbing was plugged in, but there's no power. I, I used the washing machine switch and it just didn't boot. So that's like, how am I supposed to like pull out this entire washing machine and get behind it and flick the switch that this guy should have flicked when he put it in there? And why on earth did he not put the floor in properly? Um, I'm not strong enough to, to lift up the machine and put it under there. However, this guy who installed the broadband was like, I've installed washing machines before. That's been a former job of mine. Let me have a look. And I was like, sure. I mean, I've had a new installation booked tomorrow to, to fix this, but I would love to be able to wash my clothes today. And yeah, he just pulled the whole thing out. I could see he's like sweating throughout his cap, like at the back of his head while he was doing it. And I was like, thank you. Thank you. And uh, yeah, confirm there was no power and just flick the switch, put it back in. And uh, I'm now listening to the sweet sound of my very, very silent washing machine, washing my clothes. And there was still room for more clothes, unlike the previous washing machines that loaded like this little. And I like to wash my bed sheets every week. And now, like, it's not going to be packed to the brim just, just with my bed sheets. I, I can fit more things in. I'm just, the, the, the possibility is here. <laughs> I'm just gonna wash things all the time now. Well, I'm still me after all, so that probably won't be the case. But yeah, I'm trying to like slowly unload my things and just shove it into the shelves before I figure out what to do with it. Uh, 
And last night I managed to knock out two light bulbs. Like I have these two lamps behind me here and I just knocked them out. Like I just knocked the lamps over and <laughs> so I live in darkness when, when it gets dark outside. It's, it's quite dark. All I have is this little corner light here. We had a ceiling light, right? But this abomination, I couldn't look at anymore. Look at this. Okay. This was in my ceiling. <sighs> this is the kind of thing that my former landlord would have installed. I'm like, isn't that pretty? I'm like, yeah, sure. There's also all these like glittery weird things on like the second curtain wall. There's like two double. And these curtains have to go as well. Like, the like kind of golden weird glossy thing is I. I'm thinking like thermal tartan, like red tartan. I've just yet to find any that I can actually afford because they're not not because they're like super expensive just because nobody's selling them and the only ones I did find were the expensive ones so one might say they're a little bit out of fashion which is exactly how I like it actually so but yay birthday and my friend's gonna come over later oh do you like my double monitors I've always had these monitors we used to keep the smaller one downstairs it's kind of like a makeshift tv for when we just plug in our laptops and watch things together and this has just always been my computer monitor. Now I can have them together. So uh, I may have bought myself a birthday present. I have bought myself a fridge for my birthday present. It's because it's tiny. It is actually smaller than the fridge that I had in the flat share. So we had a, a mini fridge each. And somehow this full like freezer fridge stack, the fridge part is smaller. It's way less storage than what I've had in a flat share. That's, that's not on. We can't do that. So yay fridge for me okay i did it we did it me and my friend we did it pardon the fridge it's doing that weird sound again but yay i've got a bed a massive bed this has got to be the biggest bed i've ever had anyway uh <laughs> i feel like i need to explain this situation here uh i decided i need to pull out the the rug but these two pieces of furniture are way too heavy to lift to get the rug all the way out here, which is where I want it. So I, I don't know what to do about that right now. But, you know, I feel like I've got to get some color in here now. I've sort of made it very, very white, which isn't really me, but it's a nice base before we start popping in some color. But I just wanted to get it very bright because there is only this one window here and it's north facing. I definitely got to replace those curtains. They're far too shiny. I can't stand it. Right, so I think I've got it pretty nice in here by now. This is kind of like my little workstation, living room. Still needs a lot of unboxing. And in here, I've sorted out my kitchen. This is what it looks like when it's not full of boxes and bags and whatnot. I'm still sort of figuring out some things, but you know, I can work with this and I made food. Uh, this is way too much, but we as much as we can. And uh, yeah, it's like some kind of like macaroni with like West African seasoning. This is I, 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 don't ask. It's it's amazing. That's all I can tell you. Hi. So it is Thursday. I had to think about that one for a bit. And I just received my curtains. I I'm sorry. I probably got lots of leftovers in my face. Uh, I'm sure lots of people are gonna disagree with my choices on this one, but this is. This is what I'm going for. This is <laughs> the most out of fashion option I could have picked. It's not even so out of fashion that it is back in fashion. It's just straight up not in fashion. And uh, I'm feeling it. Hello. So I'm kind of catching myself filming less and less every day because there is kind of less progress made every day. I think I skipped yesterday altogether was yesterday curtain day? I can't really be sure. But today was Ikea day. Went to Dunnell next and Ikea. And uh, yeah, I ended up with uh, a number of things. Most of all, just enormous ankle pain from all the just stomping around and just choosing the worst day of the week to do it. But you know, it's all right. Anyway, here's one thing I got. So this doesn't look very exciting because I mean, it's the exact same light that I had in my bedroom. However, I don't know if my camera is capturing this, but it's like this really beautiful warm light that's making this entire living room just have not too much light and not too bright. Is that coming across? 
camera's a funny with light, you know, so yeah. Uh it's just really nice. It's not too bright, it's not too dim. Also, we have another incident. I don't know if you guys remember when I single-handedly put up this bookcase myself for the stash, only to now realize, and this is, I have to explain to you the situation here. I assembled this on the floor here. By the way, do you like the slippers my mom got me for my birthday? They're so good. I had it laid out here, right? So I started off at the top of the shelf right here, and then I put in these like middle boards and then another layer of board, and then like these little middle boards, and then another full layer of boards until I put out the bottom of the shelf right there, right? So starting with the top, bottom and then I had to just tilt it up and put it up there and this was before we had any furniture on either side okay we, I think we had this but there was still plenty of room <laughs> somehow this bookcase is sideways I'm gonna show you what I mean <laughs> this ladies and gentlemen this is the top <laughs> this is the bottom and does it matter yes because there's no paint on this side and there this is where the little Felts are so that it can be on the floor and not. I'm gonna have to find a way now to just turn this bad boy around 90 degrees. Now that I have more furniture in here, love that for me. Okay, so I'm still in the process of moving all this stuff. I just remembered why I didn't film yesterday and what happened yesterday. We had a fridge situation. Do you want to know what the fridge situation was? So I hate the fridge that we have here, mostly because it is tiny. They didn't clean it. And it makes a very unsettling sound, which right now is actually surprisingly quiet, but I don't like it. Every time I use it, I'm just like, the only good thing about that fridge is it's just short enough to have a microwave on top, but I will sacrifice that to have more space. So what I've done, me knowing nothing about fridges, I just selected, I want an energy efficient fridge. So I ticked A and that was my first criteria on all these like fridge buying websites, shops. <laughs> And I didn't know this, but that results in only very tall fridges. So what I'm looking at is like, okay, now I've reduced my options. And what do we have here? Right. All fridges seem to be about two meters. And I just kind of thought, yeah, that's probably normal. So I ordered a fridge of that height <laughs> and they arrive yesterday morning. And before they even get the fridge out of the truck, they just want to look at the doorways, their options for getting it in here and it just go, no. This is not going to come in here. We need to have it sort of tilted just to get through the door, but there's no way to get it tilted back up again. It's too tall. You got to get a normal size fridge. And I'm kind of like offended. Like, what do you mean? I don't get to have a two meter tall fridge. Is that, is that, am I not, you know? <laughs> so they just drive off with the fridge. And I've been led to believe that I bought this like monster fridge. And that's when I go back to my fridge research. <laughs> and I'm realizing now that is because of my energy efficiency rating criteria that I'm only getting these really tall fridges. And then when you're removing that criteria, you get lots of different heights. And while I'm sort of deciding whether I should tell them to come back and try again, because the door frames actually are the same height as the fridge, it should be fine. I find that the local curry race is like a half hour walking distance. I'm just like walking over there, like speed walking. I'm just like, I will find out, this is tall. And I go in there and I look at the fridges of that model. <laughs> And I'm like, this is a very big fridge. I do not need a fridge this size. This isn't, like compared to how small my kitchen is and you put that like ginormous fridge in there, that's gonna look ridiculous. So I was like, yeah. Deliver delivery man was right. And I'm gonna go back to the drawing board, cancel my order, get refunded. and get a fridge that is a normal size, a third of the price. Uh, I'm learning a lot about fridges here. And yeah, so that's what we're doing now. Anyway. Back to the situation. I don't know how I'm going to fix it, but we're going to find out. Do you see what I mean? How did I do this? How have I done this and not realized? It was laid out right here. I, all I had to do was tilt it up. And somehow... Did I do this asleep or what? I don't understand. I did it. I did it. Best believe that I did all this in one big swoop. I had it like holding it right here. So like had it like it didn't want to go all the way down to the floor, even though I removed that chest of drawers. So I had to like while holding it sort of suspended in air, tilt it from being that way to like that way and then up. And I did it. And let's just double check to be sure. Just because I <laughs> don't know what's happening anymore. Oh yes, nice and smooth. I also need to get this rug pushed back by like one very irritating inch. 
But with this wardrobe here, I do not know how. I did it! I did it! Look at this! Look at this! Oh my god! Oh! Sorry, it makes an awful sound. But now I'm left with this bump here again. <laughs> Which can be helped if I just get one more person to help me lift the bed while someone gets under the ottoman and just pulls that rug. Three people might be better than two, but I think I can live with this for now. This is great! Oh. Wait, is there a bit of an echo in here still? We've got to fix that. We need more textiles. Now, a very, very tired sleepy me is going to go to bed. Oh, yes. Hi. So, I think I've kind of given up on maybe the whole vlogging every day in my moving stage at this point. I don't know. Today was a, a busy day. I had to run a bunch of errands, post office, returning things. Pff, all those things. And then... I even had to pop by my old neighborhood to pick up my camera from the repair shop. Oh, and I'm just a little bit in my feels. Like, I still have very much a strong preference for my good old neighborhood. I I was there since 2012, remember that? Yeah, 12 years. Mm. So there's no wonder that I feel very attached to it and I miss it a lot. Whenever I go there, I'm just like, oh, familiarity, yay! And people in London will know this, like moving south of the river is just, it might as well be a different city. It might as well, like it's, it is the same city, but it just feels so, so, so different. And I'm, I know I'll come to love it. Uh, but yeah, it's just, uh, I feel like I was home for a bit there, you know. So anyway, progress. I have started to organize my books. Ta-da! I don't know, we can't really fit a lot in frame here, but this gives you an idea of what we're going with here. So yeah uh just working on that uh i'm gonna frame these these two pictures that are leaning up there i forgot to mention i found these bad boys i love this one this isn't antique or anything it's just kind of made to look like it which is perfect okay it is day 11 i think it's tuesday and i think maybe my monstera plant might be happier over there than it was over here because uh, i don't know i just read up on it and it shouldn't have direct sunlight which it will get here especially in the summer i also don't think it's that happy being next to the window that can run cold sometimes and then other times when the sun is warm and it's just very unstable and i think the leaves might show some 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 damage from that so i put it over there but i'm a bit worried that that's not enough light it's just a bit far but I can't exactly have it in the middle of the room either. So what do you think, Monstera knowers of the interwebs? Is that a good spot? <sighs> Guys, look what I got in the mail. I found this gem on eBay. And this is definitely going up on my wall. I don't know where yet, but this is this is the kind of stuff I just want all over my living room. If any of you guys, especially those of you in Norway have any stuff like this or cushions like this this is called crusted sim it's a type of well stitching um embroidery if you will if any of you guys have this that you just don't want to keep you think it's dated old-fashioned whatever all my days i am interested hit me on, on instagram like i am not on top of my messages i should, probably shouldn't say that as confidently but i this is so hard to get hold of when living in the uk my fraternal grandmother used to have so much of this stuff in her living room and that's kind of the vibe that I want. And yeah, oh, I need more of this. This is so, oh, I'm so happy. So I'm currently in the middle of putting up my new curtain rods, which actually do fit. I didn't realize at first, it seemed like it was hard to fit one of the rods in, but it does indeed fit. And I'm now looking at it and I'm kind of hesitant to screw a lot of things into the walls, even though they are my walls. Whoop, whoop. Uh, first of all, they look a bit lopsided. I don't think <laughs> it seems to go a little bit up there and a bit down there. But don't you think these should be higher up? Because it kind of like shrinks the window door when it's like this. And I just think like if you just raise this, if you get some equally black hoops <laughs> to put the rods through, put them higher up and further out as well, it would just make this so much more vast. Thoughts? I'm just worried about screwing it into something that might be up at the ceiling height that is important structurally. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking long term here. But right now I just want to put my curtains up again. Tomorrow morning will be the only, the final morning I will have to listen to this sound. But I will be woken up by this sound. It's going to be so good. I just... 
this fridge. I, I just can't stand it. It's, it's the worst. And just look how small it is. It is so small. Do not judge the content of my fridge. I have, I, I don't have a Pepsi Max problem. I have a problem with that Pepsi Max. Anyway, the sound's over now. For now, it will come back. I have to keep my vegetables out here. That's how little space there is there. I mean, there is a drawer I haven't used. I suppose it could have gone in there, but you know, yay. Anyway, check out my setup. It's, uh, I'm hoping, hoping to be able to plant those leaves and just put more food on these shelves and maybe put some of these plants somewhere else. I can also have something food related up there, perhaps. And I'm considering putting this plant in the living room. It's just looking a little bit sad down there. I don't know. Ah, look at my new fridge. There's so much space. So much more space. It barely fit into this gap because I hadn't really taken into account the... I forgot about the trims, but it still has just about fit in. And uh, I'm just letting it kind of air out because it does smell like a new fridge. And that's not how I want my food to smell. But oh my god, I have a fridge. I have a fridge. That doesn't make weird sounds. Well, yeah, I haven't switched it on. It has to stand upright for like X amount of hours when you get it uh, before you switch it on. And uh, well, scholars remain divided on how long because some places it says two hours, such as in my instruction manual. But the guy who left it here and installed it said six hours, whereas the website for the people who did the delivery and manufacture these says four hours. So exciting. But Okay, just look at these windows. They look pretty grimy, right? Do you know what I just did? Do you wanna know? I just cleaned them from the inside and the outside. And this stuff is on neither side. Isn't that exciting? It's, it's somehow on, on the inside of the glass. Ah. My rug has arrived, my rug, my rug, my rug. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to put it on the floor. I just, I need to vacuum one more time. Because I'm a dusty mess. But yeah. Oh, this is like the last touch on the living room before I'm like, not done, but like done for now. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> it's so nice. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I wonder if I should try to scoot it under the sofa a bit. But I don't know how I would single-handedly lift it up. Because that sofa is a monster. Oh, oh, this is so gorgeous. It's so nice. It is done. It's here. It's very big. It might be, it might be too big. Like I just kind of imagined it, the, the coffee table being in the center, which isn't going to work because it needs to extend more this way. So maybe it's fine. I don't know, but I love it. Oh, I love it so much. This is, this is the look now. This is what, what where is that? And I'm kind of going to call it. Uh, I need to fix that, obviously. I need to sort out the wall, but the wall is not urgent. I have officially moved in. This is, this is the look. So I think we might be ready for the final tour of the flat to show you kind of the conclusion of the moving in. There's still lots of stuff that I'd like to do, but I thought for now, this is this is gonna be it. I know there's like it's gonna be some curtains coming tomorrow. There's always gonna be one more thing and one more thing. But I think right now I just wanna like wrap this up and put a video up maybe tomorrow or day after. Uh yeah, so here's the tour. Here is the first stop. Is the bathroom. I'm just gonna start with the least <laughs> impressive room with a little heart schnauzer here. Uh this is the bathroom. Not really much to be said about that. Uh, I really wish I had a mirror here, but I'm working on that. I maybe should oil this door. <laughs> but yeah, there's that. It's also a very, very tiny tub. We're gonna ignore that for now. This will hopefully be freed up to a whole new room once this whole cylinder goes out. I'm very excited about that. And hopefully someone's gonna pick this drawer up so that will free up some space. And then the flat, the flat indeed. Off we go. <laughs> Living room. Let's just go straight into the living room. This is why I've been putting off this video because I just, this rug, it's just wrapping up. Everything is tying it all together, all that stuff. Clearly, I still have stuff I need to do with this whole thing on the wall. I feel like I mentioned that a million times, but I've got everything that I want to have set up now. These pictures are also going to go up and I need to 
figure out some of the storage down there but generally I'm pretty happy with this and uh, this is my little office nook this is where I'm sat knitting and working and all that good stuff I need to change my calendar to February actually there's February so yeah that's my cozy little living room and off to the kitchen with my brand new fridge which is so fancy it's a completely regular fridge but it's fancy to me because it's mine and uh, this is this is that this is where I live and uh, <laughs> I'm expecting a coffee machine any day now unless I've been scammed we'll find out uh, we've got a little backyard here cute little backyard and uh, plants and stuff and things on the wall shelves here and uh, boiler saying hello uh, and then bedroom where my dress is hanging to dry hello I'm not sure if I want to have that mirror there because there's not a lot of light there but I don't know it might do but this is it I'm still tidying up this little pile over there but I think honestly I might need to go through the entire stash here I'm getting more of these boxes and yeah, then we can figure that out. But this is the bedroom. I'm waiting for new curtains tomorrow. They're going to be super cute and really complete this room as what looks like a nursery for a king size baby. <laughs> Never mind uh, editing from future Ellie here. I got the curtains. They have arrived and they're so cute. Look at them. Look at the birds and the flowers. My only question is like, are they too short? Should I have gone for like full on length like the previous ones? Thoughts, opinions? I could still try them in and have, have them longer. It's going to cost a bit more, but I don't know. What do you think? I think they're really cute. And there's my little muse up there. So yeah, that's that. Literally everything I've got for this room. Just, <laughs> it's very nursery. I realized after I got it, but I just, I really like it. I don't like any of the stuff going on on this wall. I'm going to have to figure out that. Probably get the mirror off and get up a bit of a more of a statement mirror maybe. Or pictures or something. Uh, put some stuff down there. But yeah. Hi. <laughs> that about concludes it. It's not a very big flat. But that's how I could afford it. So you know that's how, we, how, how that works. But this room. I'm obsessed. I, I love this room so much. We got a little front yard here as well. So a bit of hangout space. There's so much stuff here I need to tidy up. But yeah, got a lovely, lovely little sunset going on as well. Of course, yarn winding station as, as you do. But yeah, conclusion, concluded video is done. Thanks for watching. Toodles. <laughs>